one day I checked on my net navy and they said it was sad version 2. Yes, yes. It's like a double joke, so they won't get it. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, you left me in a rainy forest. Did you really expect my net connection to enjoy that? Well, no, but... <laughs> Come on, there's only so many places I can leave you, man. <laughs> this is true. So instead of a normal-looking sandy grave, we have ourselves the psychedelic, um, freaking... Look at this background. It, it really does. I mean, pink sand and moon and stars, blue sphinx, it looks like a really weird casino ad or something. And of course, everybody loves backgrounds that interact. I mean, what with that 3D model sphinx that's rotating to follow you wherever yes. you go. Stuff that you don't notice when you're actually playing We have the to show game. the technology of the Nintendo DS. Good old Nintendo DS. It was a lot better for playing 2D games than it was for 3D. True. Worms! Nobody likes worms. Armageddon! Well, I, th that's the one that you... Seriously, though. What, what do you think of a worm that bleeds, like, that poofy brown color? That's kind of disturbing, really. I mean, look at his stomach. He's obviously got like, indigestion of some sort. Yeah. Man, I can't believe that they didn't actually change the mummies from one of these worlds to the end to the next. Well, it's a desert. I guess they had to work in what seemed thematic. So did I even play this classic Kotal? <laughs> well, of course. Oh, do you spell for Charlotte? I don't know if it's any good, because I don't think I actually tried it, so let's just shout the Charlotte to the music and hunt some birds! Not birds! So, for anybody who wonders what the King of the Birds class is all about, there's this room right here, where there's like a 5% chance of the stupid dodo even appearing in the first place. There it is! <laughs> well, for that small a chance, at least it happened quickly. Yeah, I am kind of happy that that occurred quickly, because seriously, it's You didn't have to break out the Mario Party music or anything. Yeah, I know, it's crazy! <laughs> oh no, I used to grinding processes actually going quickly in this game. Oh. Huh. I didn't actually notice that the worm stays gone. Yep! That one never respawns after you kill it the first time. But apparently this worm likes to eat entire pyramids. Well, you're hungry, it's there. <laughs> it's just like, but man, look, it didn't even it didn't digest anything, or even chew! Saw that city sitting there and just nom 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 nom. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna stretch my mouth wide open and devour this entire thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ew. Worms are gross. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So people uh, who are fans of the first pyramid adventure, well, this pyramid adventure is gonna seem very similar because it's really not that much different. Except it has flea men that are armored and require being killed twice. Well, that's kind of irritating. Most flea men are irritating. These ones are no exception. They actually really hurt a lot if you don't take that armor off of them, too. I seem to recall that being a thing, yeah. Just, just don't trust the flea men. They're after you. They're after blood. Pretty much, pretty much. Much like the Sandy Grave itself, uh, Charlie pretty much destroys everything in this world. Also, trying to fill out the map corners is really obnoxious. Ugh. I mean, it'd like nuzzle your head against the very far side. Gee, I wonder what that food item is. <laughs> yeah. That's a very specifically divided bowl of curry right there. It really is. And I was expecting something more rounded, but no, somebody just chopped a knife right in the direct center and then played so like, this is rice, this is curry, there you go. <laughs> If you didn't want to get the skull, um, the skull ring from the Dark Academy, there's more lesser demons in this place, so you can grind faster. <laughs> well, that at least is an option. Like, come on, Nuzzle, there we go! <laughs> but 
but you know, Curry found it an ancient tomb. I wonder if that lets you see your dead wife or anything like that. Cross referencing LP, tell you. You know, I've only ever had curry, like, two times. One time it was done super well, it was awesome and delicious and nice and spicy. And then another time it was like 95% vegetables, 5% meat, and I was very disappointed. Yeah, I would imagine. Look, I don't like vegetables to begin with, but curry is not veggies! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody disagreed with you and they were wrong. Various freaking spices and very, very fine meats all cooked together beautifully. Actually, carries a lot of different things because it's a very inspecific recipe, but whatever. Yeah. I've never actually tried curry. If you can find the right stuff, it's really good, but, you know, considering my luck with it so far, um, it's a rarity. <laughs> uh, also, it helps that. Yeah, 50 50 is a questionable track record. That said, it depends on uh, what nationalities curry you're going for. I forget what exact one this restaurant I went to was, but they served it over french fries, it was really good, and, you know, I think they were going oh. for, like, an Irish thing to it? I don't know. It's this restaurant I haven't been to in That's many years. I miss some of my restaurants that I used to go to on the East Coast. He wanted you. Really did! He's freaking Flea Man, man! <laughs> ah, the Attica helmet! Finally, an actual decent upgrade for something! Nice. This is pretty much one of the best helmet equipments for Jonathan in the entire game, so yay! <laughs> no more special. <laughs> the freaking Cossacles! <laughs> Silly Quetzalcoatl, I know you like pyramids, but not Egyptian ones. This is just like the world of flea men trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah. There's kind of a lot of them. So freaking many flea men, if they're not armored and running around with axes, then they're trying to ride a white dragon and kill you. See, the thing that makes me feel a little bit sad about, about Forgotten City is it's really... It's just the exact same thing as Sandy Graves, it's just not very exciting. Yeah, it does seem to be that way, just... And with a lot of corners to have to dig your way into. Yeah, I mean, look at this opening room. This is this is exactly the same as the entrance room in Sandy Grave. I even had to fly up with the l summon to get that upper corner. Yeah, I mean, even the room up there with Felicia, wasn't that basically just referencing the room where you fought the boss of Sandy Grave? Mm-hmm. Apparently Egyptian pyramids are very one layout only. Oh man, the Griffin Wing! The Griffin Wing! <laughs> At least you get one cool toy. Yes. There oh, we go. <laughs> You probably have some fond memories of spamming that in Harmony of Despair. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. That move was- the uppercut was just inexplicably extremely powerful in that game for some reason. Well, I love any of those kinds of moves in the Castlevania series. I think Alucard had one, I think Soma had one. Oh god. <laughs> Alucard is inexplicable. I'm just gonna jump real high, okay? <laughs> Yes. Oh, uh, that looks another one. It's just one of those things. I love just ridiculously improbable movement things. Like, still one of my absolute favorite items from any game series is the hook shot. <laughs> oh man. Ugh, the Pins and CR is actually really good for helping you get good drops, but it also drops our intelligence a lot. Yeah, and in a no-damage run, it's all about putting the hurt on everything. I just noticed that the Cossa Codals actually have leashes. Huh. It's their pets! The Flea Men tamed them! <laughs> but you get to take them down with the power of Showtime! 
It's always showtime in Jonathan Land. Well, there's. Whoop. Gee, this looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? Yes, yes, it kind of does. It's a demonstration that you really can't do anything if you slide into that passage, so let's become a toad. <laughs> but are we going to find the opposite land version of, uh, <laughs> of Sanctuary in this place? <laughs> Nuzzle toad. Look at that toad nuzzling. <laughs> yes. Uh... Meteor! I don't know if Meteor is quite the opposite of Sanctuary, but it's still fun. Well, you know, the holy place of restoration and whatnot versus freaking giant Meteor of Destruction and Terror. There's some methods. I suppose that's true. Now let's fly out to get the Elmore thing. Oh, hey, we found the Book of Death! <laughs> well, okay. I mean, we can take a look and see just what this does. Oh. That's, oh, hi, Anubis. Um, that's not really what I was expecting, but I guess it's thematically appropriate for this place. Yeah. I mean, you hear death in Castlevania, you kind of expect scythes. <laughs> this is the most efficient way to jump over boulders, what are you talking about? <laughs> of course. This makes me nervous. How nervous <laughs> did that make you? Quite, I must say, quite. It's just like, wait, this is fading into the background at like the exact same moment as you pass it. Um, kind of happy I had the speed booties for him. Let's put Jonathan there. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a reason why I was kind of relating this to the upside down castle of the night because it's pretty much just retracing your steps, except made slightly harder. Yeah. It's okay, this is the only... Go back through the same pyramid, just in reverse. This is the only portrait that, that actually does this. The rest of them are all much more original. Oh man, try to pronounce that equipment name. <laughs> Kala Siris? Close enough for me. <laughs> Gotta love how we can completely ignore that terrible defense stat of what we're wearing. <laughs> Ugh. So many things that want to kill us. The Light Keepers can actually be dangerous if they ever attack, as they were shown before. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to get you to all try to consider what a Platinum Corset would look like, and how it would even work. <laughs> uh, I guess it would make you a really sparkly Vegas showgirl. Yeah, but... Corsets are all about being able to flex enough so they can fit on you tightly, but have to open up enough to let you into them in the first place. Something tells me Platinum doesn't yeah. really... <laughs> Did I just say Platinum? I mean, Platinum doesn't exactly flex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a master of wordsmith. <laughs> oh man, it's the Jack of Bones! <laughs> These guys... These guys are really annoying enemy types if you let them actually attack. Yeah. I mean, predicting bouncing things has always been kind of difficult in most games. Okay, that hitbox is clear. Yeah, it's pretty much just the head portion of it. The wings are fine. How many mummies do you need in one tomb? All of them. Recording software having some issues, but that's okay. Just so long as that's really the video and not my connection, I can never be sure. <laughs> so, um, how many mummies does it take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, apparently all of them. Yeah, I have no idea either. I mean... Yeah, that's dangerous as hell! That's, that's a good idea there, Pass yeah. me. you just do that. <laughs> Just go ahead and do that, sure. Oh, oh what did we get this time? Oh, our hi first, there. Our very first seven ghosts, okay. Actually, wait, no, that was How have you not one. gotten that until now? I actually got it earlier. I remembered I got it during the sanctuary backtracking. I mean, that still ah. took a while, but... 
sparkling jellies! Why don't I just cast Chain Lightning? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Your sword is not made to cut jello. I love the Wrecking Ball so much! So happy I leveled it. <laughs> <laughs> you really enjoy having oh, that around to play with, don't you? Yes, also another case of me forgetting to actually change back to an attacking spell. <laughs> nice owl dodge! This is like, change! Oh, I am an owl! That's not exactly what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Pass me is incompetent! <laughs> I look at some of my villain videos, and I'm just like, how did I even manage to not screw up here? <laughs> it's like, what nonsense did I just manage to avoid? It confuses and confounds me. <laughs> well, whatever works, I guess. Oh man, are we finally gonna replace that charm necklace from five years ago? <laughs> yes, we are. What is it that Mind even does? Um, magic defense. Ah. So that doesn't matter either. Yep. <laughs> I can completely ignore that one too. <laughs> yeah, you take that, Jack of Bones. Take that so hard. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's kind of... Whoa. funny just thinking about the fact that I actually only have like a couple more worlds left after this. Yeah, pretty much. The four portraits go by pretty fast, although the next two are far more interesting. 